हेलो एवरीवन इन लास्ट लेक्चर आई एक्सप्लेन कैलकुलेशन ऑफ कोफिशियंट ऑफ को रिलेशन बाय डायरेक्ट मेथड नाउ इन दिस लेक्चर आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू सेम एग्जांपल विद द हेल्प ऑफ शॉर्टकट मेथड हाउ टू कैलकुलेट कार्ल पियर्सन कोफिशियंट ऑफ को रिलेशन बाय शॉर्टकट मैथड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल आई राइट द फॉर्मूला फॉर द कैलकुलेशन ऑफ Carl Pearson coefficient of correlation by shortcut method. Now, formula is R equals to n into sigma d x d y minus sigma d x into sigma d y upon whole under root n into sigma d x square minus sigma d x whole square. Bracket close. Again bracket. n into sigma dy square minus sigma dy whole square. Now, in this method, shortcut method, we have to calculate dx by x minus a and dy by y minus a. For this formula, you refer to the last lecture in which I have explained the formula for the calculation of Carl Pearson coefficient of correlation. So, first of all, we calculate. dx suppose it is x and it is y and here dx square here dy and dy square and dx and dy is calculated with the help of assume mean that is a now assume any value from this as a suppose i assume 28 as the a now we have to Minus all these values from twenty eight. D x is calculated x minus a. So twenty three minus twenty eight minus five. Twenty seven minus twenty eight minus one. Twenty eight minus twenty eight zero. Twenty eight minus twenty eight zero. Twenty nine minus twenty eight one. Thirty minus twenty eight two. Thirty one minus twenty eight three. Thirty three minus twenty eight five. Thirty five minus twenty eight seven. Thirty six minus twenty eight eight. So this is the calculation of dx x minus a. Same we calculate y minus a. Assume any values from this as the a. Suppose I assume twenty seven as the a. Eighteen minus twenty seven is minus nine. Twenty minus seven. Minus seven, twenty-two minus twenty-seven minus five, twenty-seven minus twenty-seven zero, twenty-one minus twenty-seven minus six, twenty-nine minus twenty-seven two, twenty-seven minus twenty-seven zero, twenty-nine minus twenty-seven two, twenty-eight minus twenty-seven it is one, and twenty-nine minus twenty-seven it is two. Now dx square. How dx square is calculated? Square these values. It comes dx square. Five square twenty five. One square one zero zero one four nine twenty five forty nine and sixty four. The square of eight is sixty four. Seven is forty nine. Five is twenty five. Three is nine. Two is four. One is one. Same square of these values. Nine square eighty one. Seven square forty nine. Twenty five zero thirty six four zero four one and four. These are the squares. Now we have to calculate dx and dy. Dx and dy is calculated by multiplying dx into dy. When dx is multiplied by dy, it comes dx dy. Minus five into minus nine forty five. Minus one into minus seven seven. Zero into five minus five zero. Zero into zero. One into minus six, minus six. Two into two, four. Three into zero, zero. Five into two, ten. Seven into one, seven. And eight into two, sixteen. So it comes sigma d x d y in this sigma d x. Sorry, d y square. It is sigma d y. It is sigma d x square, and it is. Sigma d y. In shortcut method, we also need sigma d y and sigma d x. Sorry, it is sigma d x and it is sigma d y. Now we have to total for these values: plus seven, five, plus three, plus two, plus one, minus six. It is twenty. 
Now sigma dx equals to 20. 25, 1, 1, 4, 9, 25 and 49, 64. It is 178. Same with total for dy. 2 plus 1 plus 2 plus 2. Minus 6, minus 5, minus 7 and minus 9. It comes minus 20. 81, 49, 25, 36, 4, 4, 1 and 4. This 204. And for sigma dx dy, 45, 7, 4, 10, 7 and 16 minus 6, it is 83. So these are the values which we need for the calculation of coefficient of correlation. So x is given with the help of assume mean we calculate dx and dy, dx square, dy square and now dx into dy, dx, dy. Now we use formula for the calculation of Carl Pearson coefficient of correlation. Now, the formula is R equals to N into sigma dx dy minus sigma dx into sigma dy upon whole under root N into sigma dx square minus sigma dx whole square N into Sigma dy square minus sigma dy's whole square. It is the formula for the calculation of Carl Pearson coefficient of correlation. Now, r equals to n. n means number of items and we know there are 10 number of items. So, 10 into sigma dx dy is 83 minus sigma dx. Sigma dx is 20 into sigma dy, sigma dy is also minus 20 upon whole under root n 10 into sigma dx square, sigma dx square is 178 minus sigma dx whole square, sigma dx is 20, 20 is whole square, same dy, sigma dy square, dy square is 204 minus sigma dy is whole square minus 20 is whole square. Now here we need very carefulness that minus and minus, minus into minus it becomes plus. So r equals to 10 into 83, 380 plus 20 into 20, 400 upon whole under root 10 into minus 20 square is 400. 10 into 204, 2040 minus 20 square is 400. Now, R equals to 830 plus 400, it is 1230 upon under root 1780 minus 400 it is 1380 into 2040 minus 400 it is 1640 in shortcut method so r equals to 1230 divided by 1380 into 1640 it is under root double two six three two double zero r equals to one two three zero divided by double two six three two double zeros under root one five zero four plus three nine three here 1230 divided by 1504.393 it is plus 0.81 the relation is positively high the degree of 
relation is very high. So this is the solution for the calculation of Carl Pearson coefficient of correlation in shortcut method. Hope you like and understand this method. Thank you so much. Please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you so much.